25-year-old female patient was referred by her general dental practitioner for possible endodontic treatment to 37. The tooth was asymptomatic and had normal vital response to electronic and thermal pulp testing was not tended to percussion. An extensive distal occult carious lesion was clearly visible on the periapical radiograph. Local anaesthetic was administered and the tooth isolated with rubber dam. The caries was excavated and the distal pulp horn was exposed revealing normal pulp tissue. The cavity was irrigated with 3% sodium hypochlorite. It was then thoroughly rinsed with sterile water. The cavity was then gently dried, taking care not to desiccate the pulp. Bindentin was mixed and using a thymosin instrument was placed over the exposed pulp, taking care not to create pressure on the pulp chamber. This layer of biodentine was then allowed to set for 10 minutes. A second mix of biodentine was then used to bulk fill the cavity to act as a temporary filling. The biodentine can quite clearly be seen on the post-operative radiograph and you will note that it does not extend into the pulp chamber.
At a second appointment, my colleague Jose Antonio Vittorio Ortega provided permanent composite restorations.